Hi folks, um, my name is Derek Bingham. I am a AWS developer advocate and uh, I'm going to talk to you about how you can add AI and ML um, into your web, web application. I'm going to show you how to do it um, via adding a translation service into an application. So this translation service will translate uh, English to uh, another language or languages. And I'm doing that with um, the predictions category in AWS Amplify. I will leave in the description of this video more information about AWS Amplify if you're not familiar with it, but let's get into it. So here I have my IDE and I've done a bit of scaffolding just to get things ready so we can get into the meat of this recording as quickly as possible. So what have I done? So I've created a React app um, and I've Using Node, I've installed my Create React app, uh, and then I've run Create React app, which is scaffolded out my React um, web app. Uh, in in the app itself, I've installed also the AWS um, CLI globally, and I've also added in um, some some components: Amplify uh, for JavaScript and Amplify React. Then, because I'm a developer and this comes naturally. I've initialized my local Git repo, so any changes I make are tracked. Um, the next, the first Amplify CLI command I use is the Amplify configure command. So what this will do and what it did was it um, connected this application out up to my AWS account. And then I ran the AWS Amplify init, which initialized this project uh, enabling it to um, run the Amplify uh, commands and uh, enabled me to add the particular categories that I will add um, to this application. The first of those categories is the auth category. So the authentication and authorization category um, is a prerequisite if you want to use the predictions category uh, to do the translation. So I had to add the auth and I've done this um, beforehand. Um, if you don't know about the auth category, I'll again include a link on how to order and how to add it and uh, more information about it in the description of this video. So now we are ready to think about adding um, the prediction category. I've done an amplify push, uh, which has pushed my changes uh, to the back end and what it amplify push does if I go into the directory structure you can see that I have a back end folder and in here you can see that I've got um, some cloud formation and so what the Amplify, Amplify push does it um, um, runs that cloud formation on AWS and provisions the the backing services so for auth for example we've got Cognito so um, next thing we want to do is add our predictions category start adding our uh, functionality. So I add predictions. Oh, while it's running, I can just show you that there's nothing strange here. I'm just um, running a create React app. There it is. This is my application at the minute. So adding the predictions category back here, um, we can add a few different ones. I'm going to add the convert uh, predictions category. Um, and what that does gives me a few um, different options. So I can translate text into a different language. I'm going to generate or generate audio from text or just transcribe uh, text from audio. As you can see, um, each one will use a different um, AWS backing service, uh, which is all abstracted from you. Um, so for this, I want to concentrate on the feature of how to translate text into a different language. So I select it, give it a non-friendly name because it's just a demo and select my source language. So I'm coming from English and into my target language. So I know a little bit of Spanish. So I will select Spanish as a target language and I will authorize for guests as well. So that is um, created and generated the, the necessary cloud formation locally, but now I need to do Amplify um, push. And minus Y will uh, make sure I don't get prompted again. So while that's pushing uh, up to the back end, let me show you the little UI, uh, pieces of UI that I have built for this demo. Uh, I'm not gonna submit you to me um, typing all of this out. So I created a little component 
and I'm just going to push it in there and go through it for you. So what I've got here is a typical React um, component. I've got imported Amplify. I'm importing predictions from the Amplify libraries, and I'm also importing the Amazon AI predictions provider, which is a plugin. Um, so that'll uh, provide you with um, nice methods uh, to call the predictions category functions. Um, then applying configure to configure Amplify and adding that plugin in. So this is my main function. It's called translate my text. So what it does sets up some state, and this is where the magic happens in the translate function. Um, so inside the function, I'm calling predictions uh, convert, uh, and it's taking a source argument, which is the text I want translated, and it's returning a result, which is obviously the translated text. I have a function called set text, which is uh, invoked on a change in the, my text box. And here is a very simple UI um, of a text box, a um, button, and a response uh, label. So if I save that and go back to my preview, you'll see what my application looks like. So um, translating some text here uh, on, in the, the field, and then underneath translated text will be the output. Let's just see if it's finished. Um, so we're just still updating all the resources in the cloud, and I think that's done. Um, so let's test our application. So, hello world, as it is my first go, translates, and it comes back as hello mundo, which is Spanish. Um, and so we can do stuff like my name is Derek. It's exactly Derek. Uh, my number is Derek, which is really, working really well. But what if I had a feature change and I wanted to, instead of translate from English uh, to Spanish, I wanted to do English to uh, German or Chinese or something. There is um, a way we can do that. So if I just clear my console here, um, what I can do and just kill this, just give it more space, I can change the source and destination languages two ways. I can either go amplify update um, predictions. Oh, if I can spell amplify. Um, amplify update predictions. And this again, we go through the same process where we'd uh, select convert, we'd select our um, source language and our target language, and I could do an amplify push and provision the backend sources. But obviously, um, in the real world, that may not be uh, applicable because you really don't want to mess around um, with your uh, backend resources, say, if this, uh, this application is in production. Luckily, there's another way. And this is via uh, programmatically through an API. So I'm quickly going to show you how to do that. So if I go back into my, my um, my code, I just need to add a um, a constant that will track um, this target language construct. So I will need to store it somewhere. So I need um, a target language, and then my API call, I need to pass this target language in. So I target language it, language, and I pass in my uh, variable, which is my target line. And once I've done that, uh, I need to set that target line. So I'm going to set that in a, a, um, a UI component. And I'm going to put that UI component below my response. Uh, there. And here, it's just a, a selector. I can choose different languages. Um, but I need a, an on change event just to capture uh, the change. So I'll create a function as well called on change, really badly named. I apologize. Um, so the on, on change function will be called and it'll set the new target line. So in essence, what I'm doing is I'm pushing up the language, the destination language that I, that I want. I'll set the, the first one to Spanish because that's what we, we came from uh, and preview our running application. So now I've got my little selector here. And I've got some text, so let's try it again. Hello, world. 
Mundo. So let's see what that looks like in Chinese. Excellent. Uh, maybe what it looks like in Arabic. Excellent. And my name is Derek. Again, Arabic like that. And in Spanish is that. I forget to build mine. <laughs> there we go. So as you, see, as you can see, um, in a couple of minutes, I've been able to add um, translation uh, of languages into my application. This is a this this is really was really trivial and usually can take um, a lot longer than the couple of minutes that I've just spent. Um, yeah, please comment if you find this video useful. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening.